so this is my current wireless network setup so i have three of the eero wireless systems that covers about 5,000 square feet and they are a two by two system that runs on 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequency and the speeds they don't specify but after research looks like the 2.4 runs about 300 megabits and the 5 gigahertz is at 600 megabits um, as for other things that it has you can kind of see some of the more information here Momimo the app is very intuitive and has a lot of good features where you can set up um, extra um, extra enhancements that they've done to the lab beamforming and better overall uh, queue management so they don't use QoS but they have a different system that they use for the queue management so that is one of the features that they have overall the system it works pretty well it is something that I would recommend just because of the application the ease of use and the range that it does cover but today I am going to be replacing it with another system so I am a hardware person, so I am big into hardware and software. Um, Eero has focused a lot on the software piece, but they have not increased that much on the hardware. So this one's about 700 megahertz uh, quad core processor, has um, half a gig of RAM and four gigabit gigabytes of uh, storage, uh, flash storage. So overall, it is something that can run normal, perform, and keep up to the task. The Pro has the same thing, except it has a third band. Um, all of, both of them have Ethernet ports, too, and you can do a wired backhaul. But today, I'm going to go with the Google Wi-Fi, the updated system. So I believe from the updated specs, this runs at, I think it's 1.5 gigahertz um, quad-core processor with one gig of RAM. And it is a 4x4 on four the 5 gigahertz and a 2x2 two two on the 2.4 gigahertz. One of these covers about 2,200 square feet. And this theoretically should give you faster speeds on or faster bandwidth because it is a, a higher rated AC unit. So, but instead of going, what some of the people have done is getting a Google Wi Fi and then get getting a separate device um within the package they would do the point the access point uh, these are both routers so let's go ahead and unbox it so let's now i bought this on amazon where you can buy two router units instead of buying the router separately or having to buy the access point with the router and then having to buy another router so i do wired backhaul so that's why i wanted to have two routers for upstairs one and one downstairs now this is ac 2200 4x4 mumimo uh, Wi-Fi dual band 2.4 and 5 gigahertz so it is still using the um, overall it's using the AC and it's not using the AX so it's not Wi-Fi 6 so if you go on Amazon you can probably get a good deal if you keep paying attention to the price you can get them for about 190 uh, 229 and sometimes they have promotions where if you use a specific card you might get another um, percentage off so this here unit for the Eero was 199 plus uh, it was on sale from 249 and they had an offer where you can get a uh, Amazon Alexa which ends up being 30 some bucks or 29 bucks but all for 199 price I got these two units for 199 after the 
uh, promotional discount. So it went, it was, regular price is $299, it went down to $229 for one day, and then I got another 20% for using a different pay, payment or method that they had with one of the card companies. So ended up being $199. As you can see, that is the router. It has the G on top, and it has two Ethernet ports in the uh, back. And it does not use USB-C, it uses a new plug. So that is the one thing that I wish is that it was USB-C. This is the cord with the plug. And you also get an ethernet cable. So the nice thing with this is that since you get two routers, you should get two ethernet cables. So if you do a wire backhaul, you should get two ethernet cables. So I will be setting this up. Look at the other videos where I compare the speeds of the Eero um, with the, I believe I have Orbi on there as well. And I will be updating it with the um, Google Wi-Fi and the app and how it actually compares to the Eero. Stay tuned for more.